Hello everyone, welcome to part 25 of this series. In this video we're setting up a system to call for our horse. Before we start I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. This scene will be made available on Patreon. So here we are back in our scene and what we're going to do is we're going to create a really simple system in order to call the horse close to us. Now I want to highlight that this system won't be perfect uh, there's definitely going to be some limitations um, but yeah let's get started and see how it goes so first things first what we are going to do is we're going to set up a new variable and this variable will be horse out of range by default this is going to be turned on it's a bool There we go. And what we're going to do next is we're going to create an empty under our player and let's rename it to call horse a trigger. And this is going to be set to uh, key down and I'm just going to use uh, key path three. I haven't really thought of um, what key would work well, but you know, I'm just going to use this one. So let's create some conditions and the conditions will be tied to the variable we just set up. So variable bool if horse is out of range, yes, then we are going to uh, do a state change that so will have a short animation. Now I honestly couldn't find a whistle animation so I created a, a simple one myself which I'll obviously share as well, it's in the description. And where are we? Animations, I'm going to lock this. And I created a simple state for it. So if you don't know how to do that, simply right click, create, game creator, characters, simple state. And, I'll, uh, and then just drag in the animation in this state. So that's it. Then this animation is 1.8 seconds long, a tiny bit longer, but let's just do 1.8. We'll reset our state. And then we're going to do a transform move. Maybe transform, no, just a uh, transform move of a object. And that's going to be our horse. There we go. It's going to move to a location. We still need to set that up as well. And we'll have him rotate towards the player. And duration is going to be 0 0.1, so as fast as possible. Might even do it faster, but I'll just keep it to 0 0.1 for now. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to create a simple marker. So game creator, other and marker. And this will be horse, I don't know, spawner, marker. It's a bit of a long name, but that's fine. And that's where we're going to move it to. So um, move to transform. And there we go. We can uh, set it a bit higher as well. Now what I'm going to do with this marker um, that's you know relevant is I'm going to uh, to rotate this marker like this. That's about behind the player, I think. And no, not really. There we go. That's better. And we're going to move it. Uh, behind the player and not too far we'll, we'll keep it relatively close and the reason for this is that we're doing it behind the player is though so we don't actually see him um you know spawn there and this is something you know the, the witcher assassin's creed they all do that 
I'm pretty sure they use a, uh, a different system where the horse actually instantiates and there's definitely some advantages to that. Um, but you'd have to pretty much re, you know, set up the horse again, create a lot more variables. There will be some advantages to doing a initiation, uh, instantiation. Um, you know, the object will less often be in the way of something, but it uh, honestly requires a lot more to set up. And when I say a lot more, I really mean a lot more. So um, that, that's why I'm not doing it. Yeah, something like this is fine. So I'm putting it a bit higher. The horse will fall down, and you know, by the time he'll uh, he'll be here, let's do a tiny bit back. Um, he'll have, uh, you know, he'll hit the ground anyway. So we won't actually see any of that. So let's go back to our conditions. So yeah, he's going to rotate. I'm not even sure that's necessary, but it's fine. Um, so he's moving here now. How do we de um, how do we decide if he's out of range or not? And you know that's going to be incredibly simple yet again. But the range of this is completely up to you. Um, you know, in some games, he'll be a bit closer than others. So on the horse, I'm uh, going to create a three D object, a sphere going to move this inside of uh, mount triggers that we set up before I don't know I'm going to do 20 I think that's a decent range maybe a bit too small even but you know that's uh, that's fine you can increase it yourself just make it bigger I'm going to turn off the mesh renderer and make sure this is a trigger we can not no I'm not even going to turn it off I'll just remove it there we go so let me remove this as well. So next up, let's add a trigger. So player enter and another trigger, player exit. And these will have really simple, you know, two simple actions. So if the player enters, horse um, is not out of range. The player exits exits the horse is out a horse is out of range and yeah i mean that's it that's uh that's literally all we're doing now make sure to play around a bit with the size of this and see what you're comfortable with but the way it's said now you know he's definitely out of range of where our player is our player is here so we can easily test this and we're also going to make sure we uh we keep track of that variable so we can check it out so yeah on player enter the horse won't be out of range now our conditions let's make sure yeah we can only call him if he's in range so if we press that key and he's um you know this is false then nothing will happen and that's kind of the idea so let's save this and give this a try So we're in our scene and yeah, we're out of range. So yeah, if I press three, we'll have this really simple animation play and there is our horse. Now I forgot to turn on the HUD, but that's okay. So right now, if we're going to check our variable, we'll see that the horse is not out of range. This is set to false. So I'm going to drag this to the side just a bit and I'm going to start moving and as you can see now we're out of range I'm going to hit 3 again turn around and uh, there is our horse perfect now the horse is closed so if I hit 3 again nothing is actually happening so yeah that's uh, that's it that's pretty uh, pretty much all there is to it so yeah, this was a, uh, a short video, but someone requested this and you know, it's definitely good to have. I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty sure all of these type of games have a system like that. So it's quite fundamental as well. So hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.